In order to appropriately enjoy a game about drinking beer and fishing, you need to have your own beer. And thus, let us go and and grab it right now. We're gonna we're gonna grab it right now. First try for you two. First try. This was a lot easier when I wasn't wearing the headset. There it is. Hello, everybody, Grace Joe Boys. We're checking out a game for the channel called Catch and Release. Look at how glorious it is in VR. The beautiful mountains, the trees, your fishing pole and rods and radios, and I think there's like a Polaroid camera, and your sad, destroyed fishing tackle book, and some half-eaten sandwiches, and your beer cans. So Catch and Release is all about enjoying the summer on this lovely lake with fish and nature and things of that sort. But there's a sinister plot twist here, I know there is. Over to the mission book. Over here in the mission book, I was very interested to see all the different types of fish, but all the way in the back, old Joe escapes local fishermen. Yes, he said that a giant shadow was underneath the boat. It's like some sort of friggin' mo what the hell? Slackjaw appeared in the Misty Falls? Is that the name of the fish? Slackjaw? I don't know, some sort of lake monster out here. Now, in order to appropriately enjoy a game about drinking beer and fishing, you need to have your own beer. And thus, let us go and and grab it right now. We're gonna we're gonna grab it right now. First try for you two. First try. This was a lot easier when I wasn't wearing the headset. There it is! Look, first try! That's what editing will do for me. Go ahead and crack it on open. Little trick from old gray when your hands are old and tired and you can't get the cap off. Go ahead and use your, your jean shorts there. Take a swig back. Don't you demonetize me, YouTube. It's black cherry soda. All right, now I'm set to officially get my ass kicked by the Loch Ness Monster in VR. Now, if you want, you can actually go in here. I think that they sell beer. All right, I'm so bad at holding on to stuff. I'm not drunk, I swear to God. I think that they said, yes, we owe you a catchy beer slogan. I think it's called Double Vision Beer Can. Go ahead and buy one. There we go. Ah, and you could go ahead and throw one of those back right there as well. Man, you clear that out real quick. Toss it on down. Don't throw it into the lake, people. Keep things looking tidy. Now, one of the things that we have to do is we have to follow this to-do list so that we can hunt for the Megalodon that's somewhere in this this lake here. Now, the, the graphics on this game are friggin' fantastic. It's almost like being in the long dark, but in the summertime. I love this art style. You can see the water is very clear. There's fish all over the place. Right over here, it says, there are multiple fishing spots to find. Row to the reed and catch three fish. You got it. Now, you've got to legit row in this game. So, uh... <laughs> Get your Sean T exercising on over here. Where exactly are the reeds? I wonder. Like, is it specifically rendered reeds of a of a particular type, or does it really not matter that much? Like, I think that there may be some reeds over there. I'm not really certain. Man, this game is very relaxing and very beautiful. I'm gonna have links in the description below if you want to check it out. The developer got with me and sent it to me early so I could check it out, which is pretty cool of them. All right, if I was reeds. This is where I would be. Plus, I think we just completed a mission. Let me check over here. Yep, we did it. Catch three fish of any type. Now, what you can do is you could use your bait over there, or better yet, I wonder if you could hook a sandwich on here. I'm actually somewhat curious. This is pretty twisted, but whatever, right? You take your sandwich here, and nope, you can't hook the sandwich in there. We can eat the sandwich, however, which is kind of nice. What type of meat and cheese sandwich is this? It's like a ham. How big is my mouth that I just ate this from like three feet away? Grab your tackling book. We got cheese bait. We get three free ones, I think. And I think that you can actually... Oh, oh look at the size of that fish! Mother of God! Hold on. Look at the size of that fish over there! Oh, there's big ones. There's big ones all around here. Come here, cheese. Now, this is this is the mini game. You gotta get your cheese on the line. Right there! Look at it! Right in front of us! Hold on. Reel it on in. And then nice and smooth. All right, that was nowhere near where the fish were, but I think we're still going to be okay. Let me go ahead and reel this over a little bit. I want to get right over here. feel like I'm on the fishing network, man. This is exactly what it's like. Now, it takes a little time, but you'll notice those scumbag fish will slowly start to... Really? My cheese isn't... is not good enough for you? Is that what this is? There we go. All right, one scumbag fish coming in over here. Now, the second he hits... Look at that fish! That's a big one! Oh! It's a dumb fish. It went around the bait a couple of times and then it didn't like it. What kind of, what kind of demonic entity bird was that? Some sort of wood garbler or whatever it is? The, the epic woodstock chuckler? So, man, there's a lot of huge fish out here, but they don't seem to like cheese. 
We do have these worms as well. We could probably, I think, I don't know if that's a worm or a maggot or what. Whoa! Oh, mother of God! Oh, it's a big one. Oh, oh, we gotta, we gotta let, let, let out some of the line over here. Let out some, that's a big one right there. Holy God! Now they're gonna fight you. And you gotta watch. Because if they, if you, oh. Holy crap! Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Because if, if, they, if there's too much tension on the line, it'll snap. Man, there's some big old fish up in here. All right, let's let him tire himself out now. There we go. Let me tell you, Bob, there's one thing I love doing. It's, and it's outsmarting them there fishes over in the lake and there have you. Ooh, hold on now. Getting a little bit, getting a little bit uppity. All right. Release a little bit. There we have it. Now you have to, once you get your fish, you got to make sure to measure it and weigh it and stuff. Because you don't want it to be... Oh, hey! Because you don't want it to be too small. Otherwise, you get, like, penalized. That right there is a beauty. That's a good-looking fish right there. That's a lovely yellow tail or whatever, a red tail or whatever it is. Two pounds! Or is that a kilogram? That's a kilogram. So that's actually, like, almost four pounds? Five pounds? Forty centimeters! Right there. Put it inside the ice bucket. Close the top. Eight bucks for that. All right, let's try a different bait. Let's try this right over here. You can see there's still a, a whole slew of fish right up in here. I'm going to try and cast that right in the middle area. Now, I don't know if we have to be right on top of those reeds for this to count. I could probably check inside of my notebook. What you can do, if you're feeling brave, you can actually put your fishing... Oh, look at him. He's thinking about it. Hold on, let me see if I can... Oh, mother of God. All right, we got another one. He's running. He's running on us. Call the police because we're not getting robbed today. All right, buddy. Oh, all right. Okay. Calm on down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, he's coming in. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. He saw the boat or something. He got spooked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to crack open a beer right after we catch this one. This deserves a beer right here. This deserves a beer right here. Hold on now. Not too much. Okay. Okay. I think this one may be bigger than the last one. I think this may be bigger than the last one. Ho! Oh, there he is. That's what I'm talking about. There's your crappy right there. Wow! That's a good size one. Hold on, let me, uh, you gotta hold this up correctly. There we go. How you doing there, buddy? I'm sorry, partner. I'm sorry that we had to do this to you. If I, like, squish your little fish eyes, does it do anything? How about if I, like, tickle you under the, under the gullet there? Do you not enjoy that? He kind of, look at him, he kind of pulsates around. It's kind of interesting. So that is right around 40 centimeters. And a eh, kilogram and a half. All right, we're going for the big one this time. I want, oh, I don't want to hook myself right in the chiclets. All right, don't worry, I'm not going to be eating my friggin' pole today. That sounded really terrible. I'm going to be getting comments about that in the old YouTube. All right, and here we go. Not too far now. Right about there. Right about there, I think. I don't see any more fish. Now, it's almost like where you see the fish is legit. Like, where you see the fish, those fish will interact with your bait. I said I'd buy a beer. Don't you call me a liar. Ah, there we have it. All it needs is some sausage up in this game. Oh, look at that insanity. Hold on. Now, I don't know if this was the biggest one. This doesn't really look like the biggest one that was around our bait, but it's a good size. Oh, he's coming right to the boat. Right to the boat. All right, okay, okay, okay. All right, yep, yep, yep. All right. Oh, 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 he's pulling, he's pulling, he's pulling hard. He's pulling hard. Oh, no, I let the line out and everything. He's freaking skunked us. 911. What's your emergency? The friggin' biggest fish in the entire lake just took my bait from me. What a scumbag. We're gonna get him. That, this, uh, what is that over there? Is that a pike or something? Look at that thing. Maybe it's a trout. I don't really know. I'm not sure if the, if the fish... Whoa! Alright, there he is again. He got us the first time, but this time, this time, we need to make sure that we do not fail in our mission. He's a tough one, boys. He's a tough one, but he's coming in. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, okay, all right, okay, okay. All right, hold on. All right. Don't you get too uppity now on me. Don't you get too uppity now on me. Whoa, oh, no, not again. Oh, he was right there. It's, oh. We got him this time. Whoo! Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Oh. oh. <laughs> there you go. Take the picture. Right there. Man! Look at the size of that one! Hold on. 65 centimeters? Almost 70? 
kind of weightage do we have on this thing? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta move my scale closer to the middle. Over two and a half kilograms! Holy crap! Go ahead, it can't even fit inside here! It can't even fit inside! I can't close it! There, got it closed. Ten dollars for that! Wow! Okay, what's, uh, what's next in the old mission? That was a monster, I'm gonna tell you what right now. Catch a quarrel back! Hopefully not your proudest catch. Okay, so Quarrelback, what do they want? All right, supposedly the Quarrelback doesn't have a special bait. We just gotta get lucky. Now, I think that there's a couple right over here. Let me see if we can, uh, let's see if we can bait these guys over here right quick. Nice and slow. Yeah, see him? Look at him looming over there. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's coming up. Come on, baby. Come on, get it. Get it. Oh, it's a big one right there. Kind of circling. Okay, I don't want the little one. Get, get up out of here. Man, look at all those fish. They're all hanging around. There's like a whole freaking school of them around my bait. Whoa, there we go. There we go. I don't think that that's the one we want, though. Get him in here. Get him in here. Now, you don't want to... This seems to be a game that you want to keep, like, your rod tip down. Usually in real fishing, don't you want to try and keep the tip up now and again? Do we have any professional fisher fishermen in the audience right now? This is probably the most realistic VR fishing experience I think I've ever had in my entire life. All right, this is not what we're looking for. Throw him back. You get, you get money if you throw them back, too, so you don't have to take every single one of them. Now, if you want to while you're waiting, you can go ahead and do the old stone toss over here. Oh! How many- whoa! How many skips was that?! That was like a whole friggin' slew of skips. Now, I gotta- I'm, I'm fishing for the little fish here right now, just to see, because these ones you don't need any bait for at all. But I just wanna- What is this? Look at this fish! What did we do? I feel horrible! This is awful! I feel terrible about this! Go back! My child, be free! Alright, we caught the quarrel back. Gazette article, Slackjaw Secret! Ooh! Find- Fish at the waterfall, new fishing spot, new fish, catch a thunakin? Catch three fish. Hold on, what's this? Whoa! What's this new article? I wanna see what this new article is. Let us find out about old Slackjaw over here, the- the beast of the lake. Where is he? What's it? Yeah, it's all the way in the back! Slackjaw's big secret. 18 years later, Jones is still on the hunt for the king of the lake, Slackjaw. Many fishermen developed theories on how to catch Slackjaw. None of them were successful. Guy lost his wedding ring and that's how he got Slackjaw? If I throw a beer in there, will that fix it? Beer's pretty important to me. Not quite wedding ring level, but it's still pretty important. Let's go over to the waterfall. Do you feel it, peace? Do you feel a sense of serenity? I do. Especially considering we're going over to the waterfall. Oh, it's majestic. It's beautiful. I want to take like a bottle of, of like a bottle and get some water from it. I feel like this is where Aquafina comes from or whatever. All right, so this is close enough. What's in this box over here? Can I grab this? No, I can't. Maybe eventually that box will open up and that'll be how we catch old Joe or old slack jar Whatever the hell his name is. Can I put a beer on the end of here? Fishing hat. $15 for a new radio, mother of god! $80 for a camera, Jesus! Oh, better rods! I'll bet that's how you have to catch him too. Probably takes quite a bit in order to catch old Snagglepuss there, whatever his name is. I'm gonna grab some of this cheese and get it set over here for us, because we still have some, uh, we still have some free cheeses. There we go. So this is what we're looking for, the Thuckian. Thuckians like the open water, they have high oxygen levels, they're carnivorous. Oh, oh, maggots and worms. All right, so the cheese ain't gonna work because they want something live like our worm over there. I'll probably reel this in. Actually, there's something going after it. You can see there's a couple of... Oh, there we go. There we go. It only took a second. All right. What kind of fighter do we got over here? Are you a crazy one? All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Getting a little wild. There we go. Let's go ahead and reel her in. Nice and slow. Nice and easy. Oh, tip's kind of going down a little bit like it's no big thing. Don't you struggle. Don't make me get the fish-style chloroform out over here. Where are you at? There we go. Yeah, what are you? Are you a little tiny Thruckian or whatever? You don't look big enough. You look really small. Back into the water with you. Four dollars for that. We did. It was a Thrushian or whatever. Three fish. Oh, look at this beast. Right over here. I don't know what it wants, but I want it. Look at it. Can you see it right beneath the water? I'm trying to keep my eye out. For this hideous slack jaw being that's said to be here. You never know though, I don't have a wedding ring. Well, actually, I guess I do. But I'd, I'm not gonna throw it overboard, my wife will freaking kill me. I'll be up one fish and down one wife. I want that. Right there, whatever that is. I want it, big. Pope. Let me move my bait over here. 
How do you feel about slightly moving bait? Oh, we got something. Something was looming around over here. Oh, going straight under the boat with you? Hold on now, let me do this over here. Don't you dance with me. Teach you what time it is there, fish. After I get you, I think I deserve another beer. There he is. Got him. Still doesn't look very big though. Eh, almost 30 centimeters. What do we need for this guy? Bigger than 33. I don't think he's that big. Go back in there. Got another one right over here. Nothing too big. Just a little something something, but we need three fish to progress. It seems like after a while, the fish give up the will to live, and they just don't try as hard. Now, this one may be a keeper. Um, no. He still looks a little bit below. And we got our third. I think that's our third one, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. I don't think it's still big enough, but... Oh, we got 15 bucks from old Uncle Sam. There's still room for improvement. Catch five fish, three fish in a row. Try your luck at the water lilies. All right. Before we go to the water lilies, though, there we go. A little bit of that right there. All right, now I'm set. All right, now this is normally where I would catch uh, largemouth bass over here by the lily pads. We got something. I don't know what you catch over here. I'm very curious to see what we got. Oh, he's an animated one, whatever it is. Oh, it is a freaking powerful one too. It is taking our line way out there. It's almost gonna grow legs and walk on the shore. What are we? What are we? What are we up against? It doesn't look that big. You can kind of see it over there. Ooh, all right, hold on now. You can see it's little brethren kind of wandering around over there as well. Maybe something that we've already caught. I'm not 100% sure. Now, what did it say? We have to catch like five fish without snapping a line? Oh, that's a red fin, I think. It looks like a red fin or the red tail or whatever it's called. He's given up the will to live, as all fish eventually do. How big are you? Man, we had a stream of good luck originally. I think he's good enough to keep. So I'm going to throw him in the old chest over there. 640, not too bad. Just grabbing another stone over here. This is where I hit something inside of my room. Oh. Screw that up. One more time. Uh. There she is. Straight on land. What a throw. I could never get that lucky in real life. There's some big old fish looming around over here. Look at that thing. Holy crap. Do you want what I'm selling? Come here, buddy. I got something for you, baby. Look at the size of that freaking beast. Here, right over here. What do you think about that? We think about it. I know some of these fish it said that it, it only enjoys moving uh, bait. So it's totally possible that we have to keep this thing like moving around. You can see there's a smaller fish coming in on this. Wow, he attacked that out of nowhere. What is that? Is that a bear? Look at that bear go. The bear's running a freaking triathlon. Oh, that must be one of the special items. You could like, um, you could like Polaroid catch a bunch of stuff and I guess get like unlocks for it. I'm guessing that bear must be one of, like, the things that you can catch on Polaroid. Is that a beached boat? I saw this over here. And I thought I might give it a shot just to see what's going on. It looks like there's a... Looks like there's a boat that's flipped right over here. Let me go ahead and throw a little something down and see if we can get any. Yeah, there's a couple little guys in here. You can see them going after it right now. There he is. Take it. Come on, take it. Take it. You know you want to. Come on. There he is. There he is. It was only a matter of time. There's a decent sized one. Haven't had one of these in quite a while. Well, let me go ahead and lift you up and put you in there. Six dollars on that one. Not too shabby. All right. I think we did pretty good. Before we go, though, something very important. Something very important we've got to do. Go ahead and grab Out of stock? Oh, no. Got to save it. Can't believe they're out of stock on beer. How do you? How are you out of stock on beer? It's a fishing game. This is ludicrous. I think that was fine. Uh, what do you guys think about catch or release? This is a pretty legit game, man. We're still hunting for the biggest one. We're still hunting for the king of the lake, old Slackjaw. What do you think it is? Feel free to let me know what you think it is in the comments section below. What do you think of the game? Feel free to let me know that as well. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.